famously employed by the Adeptus Astartes as a means of rapidly deploying ground forces and supporting planetary landings, Space Marine Battle Barges are the largest warships operated by the Astartes chapters, as well as some of the most powerful and strategically valuable vessels in service to the Imperium of Man. Battle Barges are constructed by heavily refitting Imperial battleships, and the space frames of individual barges vary subtly in length and shape between Astartes chapters. This is due not only to variations in the original battleship design, but also to extensive modifications and redesigns across countless centuries of service. The majority of post-heresy barges bear a similar overall style, featuring a broad and ostentatious structure, not dissimilar to that of a temple or cathedral, with a large and sharply angled forward section whose fork-shaped prow plays host to many of the ship's weapon systems. A battle barge is capable of deploying up to three full companies of space marines simultaneously, using a combination of Thunderhawk dropships and space-to-surface drop pods, and the vessel's huge cargo holds and vehicle bays allow for the deployment of countless armoured vehicles to support the Astartes in surface engagements. Battle barges were not designed to engage in ship-to-ship -ship combat, and Astartes chapters only choose to engage enemy warships on favourable terms. But should they be forced into close quarters combat, the vessels are quite capable of defending themselves. An average post-heresy battle barge is armed with hundreds of horizontally ranked weapons emplacements, varying from plasma projectors and macro laser cannons to fusion beams and high explosive missile batteries. Should these weapons succeed in overcoming the shields of an enemy vessel, such a vessel would become susceptible to a teleport assault launched from the attacking barge, and few warships can survive the merciless efficiency of an Astartes boarding party. Across the countless years of their use, many battle barges have risen to substantial fame and become important parts of Imperial history, such as the Tempestus, whose commander, the chapter master of the Astral Knights, sacrificed his ship in a ramming attack to destroy a colossal Necron world engine, or the Litany of Fury, whose thick armour shielded the Astartes of the Blood Ravens chapter from a Tyranid hive fleet during the Aurelius campaign. But none of these vessels is more famous than the flagship of the Emperor himself during the Great Crusade, the massive golden-clad battle barge, Bucephalus. It is not uncommon for a Space Marine chapter to be forced from their fortress monastery by war, natural disaster, or other circumstances, and in these cases many chapters have elected to become entirely space-borne units, using their battle barge as a mobile stronghold and protecting it with fleets of strike cruisers and support ships. Many of these fleet-based chapters, such as the Black Templars or Knights of Griffin, have taken advantage of their mobility to engage in fierce, galaxy-spanning crusades, roaming the stars as a powerful, self-sustaining armada, and using their ship's weapons and legions of troops to drive the enemies of the Emperor from dozens of star systems. Easily one of the most powerful and identifiable symbols of the Imperium of Man, and perhaps the most effective means of planetary invasion ever deployed, the Space Marine Battle Barge is a truly formidable warship, and throughout the many centuries of Imperial history, few aliens or heretics who have found themselves in the shadow of an Astartes battle barge have lived to find their way out again. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the channel, why not follow the link and check out our plans for Space Dock Planetside, an upcoming series centered on sci fi ground vehicles and aircraft.